What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthaxian. Welcome back today to Crazy Craft. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. So today I have got some very, very cool things to show you. So I've been busy today, like a little bit earlier, doing some awesome stuff in preparation for today's episode. And yeah, we're actually going to show it. We're moving away from the Ant Dimensions just for a couple of episodes because we spent the last few in the unstable and dimension it was crazy we've got loads and loads of new items and gears and ores and uh, we're actually kind of like we're not working our way towards a big berth and we're going to be doing that a little bit later on but we've got a lot of the items we need to craft it which is pretty cool but before we do that, rumor has it on the crazy craft rumor mill thingamajig that uh, yeah, Justin has been doing some building. He actually told me and Dan that he has been doing some building and uh, yeah, apparently what he was doing, I have no idea what it is just yet, but it took him a really, really long time and I thought the first thing we'd go and do is be really nosy and go and check it out. So we're kind of looking somewhere near his house to see what is going on here. Uh, that's the tree that we planted when we gave him <laughs> we gave him a present for burning down the forest. These are all his chests. This is his small chest collection. This is his large chest collection. His large chest collection just has one chest in it, but it's very, very big. Um, this could be it over here. This kind of looks like a mini Kraken from the top. Can you see that? Look at this, look at this. We've got Daddy Kraken up here, which is ours, and Baby Kraken. I wonder if that's it. Should we go and check? Ooh, what the heck is this? This is kind of cool. So just has been busy. This is so exciting. I absolutely love it when like new buildings and stuff start popping up. Of course, we're still relatively new into this series. So there's going to be plenty of time to do more builds and bits and pieces. But uh, yeah, I love this. This is cool. Okay, let's go and check this out. Ha! Huh. Oh, so it's kind of like a big underwater igloo. <laughs> It kind of looks like that. It's got glowstone on it, I think. I think this is the neon glowstone which we're using, or it could be different. Squids, what are you doing? Ah, there we go. I missed. I missed. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this hat. Hey, dude. What's up? Oh, it's a creeper hat. I want that. Come on. So could we go inside this? I have no idea. There's a sheep in the water. What are you doing? But I think we can... What is this? Thinks tree dumb? Ooh, okay, let's go inside before we drown. Whoa! Oh, I think I know what this is. This is, um, it's, it's SpongeBob SquarePants, and what's the name of the, the squirrel? Is it Sandy? I think it's Sandy, the one that wears the helmet because she can't breathe underwater, and then she's got, like, her own place, but there's no water in it. Oh, this is amazing. This is really, really cool. Okay, so I don't really know what this is. Um, ooh, what's this? Oh, this is a retina scanner. So, <laughs> I think this is a door, but we can't get in it because we don't match the retina print. So, I think only Justin can get inside here. Okay, this is really awesome. I like this. Man, building underwater is so, so hard. Um, And, yeah, this is actually really impressive. I don't know how many... Of you I'm sure everyone has tried to build underwater at some point, but because of the way water works, it is insanely annoying. So... Really cool. If you want to go and see what's under here, though, uh, yeah, make sure you go and check out Justin's video. Um, I'm not going to watch the video yet because I don't want to ruin anything. As I kind of mentioned, I do like watching Dan and Justin's videos, but I'm going to watch them like a week or two like in the future so I don't ruin anything for myself. But yeah, really cool. Things treat them. I like it. So I hear you saying, James, what was this thing that you were talking about earlier? What have you been doing and what are we going to be doing in today's episode? Well, I decided that we've been doing a lot of witchery over the past sort of, well, not the past couple of episodes, but we have done a good amount of witchery and we still want to do more of that. I want to look into mutations and all that good stuff a little bit later on. But for today's episode, I thought we'd get the basics started using the equivalent exchange mod. Now, of course, because this is the way we're doing things, we need a brand new area to set up this really, really cool mod. Just so happens I have built one. Oh, quickly, let's confirm something. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Da da da! What the heck is this? An amethyst hoe. There's a lovely hoe. So, I've been nice and busy in the base. Everything looks kind of normal, right? We've got our witchery area. We have got our armory. I need to redesign my armory because... Do you remember we were having that really weird lag spike? It doesn't seem to be... Yeah, it happens here. 
when I walk here, I can actually see my FPS on the screen, and it drops to like 30 when I walk through this door, and I have no idea why. <laughs> it's really, really weird. Um, but yeah, I've got to redesign the armory, but anyway, it's not in here. It is not down there. It is in here. Ooh, pretty cool. Oh, this is just an obsidian chest. So these are all the pieces for the big bertha that I thought I'd put all in one place so we don't lose them. I think we need a couple extras. You can see here, I was just researching it. So we need um, Emperor Scorpion, which we'll go and do it at, in, at some point. It's not too much of a big deal right now. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd put all the pieces together. The secret area, ladies and gentlemen. Dun, 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 <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> so uh, yeah, little little secret area here. I've gone with the next area being red. So we're kind of like color coding our house, I guess. We've got the purple area, we've got the cyan area, and now we have the red area. And this is going to be an entire place dedicated to equivalent exchange. So this is the room. I want to do something with this. Um... I maybe maybe we should do that for next episode. I'm not too sure. I want to do something with this and something very very sneaky, but for now it's just a room and here it is. Ooh. So you may be thinking, James, what the heck is going on with this floor? What are you doing, man? Well, <laughs> I kind of wanted it to look like it was floating, if that makes sense. So uh, I wanted to make it look like these were four wooden platforms and then these were just like above nothing. The only problem is, even with every type of glass in this Crazy Craft mod pack, if you put the borderless glass together, you get like these horrible lines through them. And they're sort of like... Uh, a little bit like the the windows in the other secret area, the cyan area. Um, they they just look ugly. They just look kind of ugly. So these are two different types of glass, and if we lay them out in straight lines, then they kind of look a little bit neater. I know they look a little bit weird, but at the same time, I, I kind of quite like it in a strange way. It does sort of look like it's floating over just a massive black hole, which I'm guessing is that's kind of like the point, right? So I hope you guys like it. This bit in the middle is in preparation for one of the, well, the most important thing in Equivalent Exchange, but we don't have any of the pieces and it's really sad. Well, let me try this out. I saw someone suggest that if we type in E, Q, oh, yes. So if we type, I didn't know this, I'm sure people know this and they're shouting, James, you fool. But if we type in at and then the mod name, it will show up all the items. That is awesome. So we're going to need to make some of these basic things. And I actually want to try and make some alchemical bags because those are going to be amazing if we go dungeon raiding again. So we're going to need to make a calcinator. We are going to need to make an aludal base. We are going to need to make a glass bell, a research station. And what else do we need? Hmm. Now, I'm kind of learning this as I go along, so you're going to have to bear with me this. We're just going to be doing the very basics today, because I think that's probably a good idea. So, if we go and get ourselves a handy-dandy crafting table here, uh, we want to make the calcinator first. So, if we do it like... Uh, oh, hang on. I don't want to make, like, 15 calcinators. You know what I mean? Because I've done that before and it was terrible. Okay, there's one calcinator. Perfect. We need to make this base. So let's make one of those. Great. Uh, let's make the glass bell as well. So if we do it like that. Ooh, why is that not making? Oh. For some reason, it is putting the iron ingots in. I have no idea why. Okay, we need one of those. Fantastic. And we also need a research table. So I think I... Why is this getting all messy now? What are you doing? Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. So those are all really cheap. It's just a few bits of iron, a few clean stone, and then one like of any type of slab. Now, what else do we need? We need to make, I think, one of these Tome of Alchemical Knowledge. And we oh, we're jumping the gun here. Let's not jump the gun. So hmm, we also need to make chalk. And I believe chalk is made from a chalk block. And a chalk block, we need this. So we need bone meal and clay. We can do that. We can do that. Well, having said that, I may have used all my clay to make clay jars for witchery. Um, did I do that? Oh no, please say I didn't. Please say I didn't. Have I got any clay? Any clay? No! No clay. I spoke too soon. Yes, we got clay for days. Fantastic. Okay, so all we need is bone meal and clay for this. Where are all my bones? Oh my goodness, right? So we've got so many items from the unstable ant dimension. And I haven't sorted any of them out just yet, but I will really soon. I promise. We've got one single bone there. Come on, lads. We can do better than that. Where's all the bone meal? 
Ah, there she is. Fantastic. So, if we make ourselves... Oh, we need to go to a crafting table. Of course. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I wonder if this actually works with your thingamajig, does it? So, this is the backpack crafting. Just out of interest. Out of sheer interest here. No, it completely doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. So, ooh. Let me get my stuff. Um, we need to make one of these chalks. We need to go like that. Boop. And then get one of these. Now, if we put this on the ground and then break it, it should, yeah, pop into normal chalk. chalk. So this is used for uh, equivalent exchange for something really cool, which I've completely forgotten what it is. But it looks very, very funky. So we need one of those. Anyway, let's get the basic setup down in the new red area. Right. So where are we going to put this stuff? Um. Oh, I've done something cool with the ceiling. Do you like that? I thought I'd change it up a bit because all of our rooms kind of have like a similar theme, but I sort of wanted to change up the design a little bit. I wanted to make this look kind of quite dark, if that makes sense, and sort of not witchy, but sort of witchy. You get what I mean? No. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I sort of thought I'd change it up a little bit. I think it looks kind of cool. I do like this room a lot. So anyway, we've got some new items. We have our calcinator. We have our little base and our glass bell. Those two go together. We've got the research station. So where should we put these anyway? We could put these on the tops or we could like... I actually don't know. Let's put... Hmm... Hmm... I really don't know. I'm wondering if there's like a cooler item, then maybe we can put them somewhere else. We've got like some steps. We've got loads of places to put them, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. I can change this around for next episode. So there we go. This is basically like a furnace, I think. And if we put some coal in it, and then we put an item, I think it burns into ash. And we need ash. But also, if you put items in here, it unlocks research but we need a book in order to oh i'm jumping ahead of myself so anyway we got one of these what's that going to make out of interest it is going to make ash there's a different few different types of ash we've got ash verdant dust azure dust and minion dust minion minion minion, minion blah, blah. sounds like a pokemon okay so cool <laughs> we've got this thing done now if we make this guy uh let's put you here should we put you here yeah let's put you here and if we do it like that then that's ready and if we do our research station and put that there we have three of our important items so next step oh can we do this with anything actually you know what let me let me double check that before we do anything Right, so what we need to do now is we need to make ourselves some ash-infused stone. And then if we put this on here, then we can actually get our transmutation tablet. So I think we're jumping ahead slightly because we still need to make this book. But we might as well get it done. This is really easy. All we need to do is we need to get nine of these ash. So we need to get eight more. And then we need to then put them, I think, in here with um some fuel and it should make the transmutation stone i think <laughs> i really hope so we'll see we'll see basically what we need to do now is burn something with a high value so something valuable and i think that should give us the redstone so we've got enough ash there let's get rid of that let's put in one diamond and then let's burn that now whilst that is burning if we come to this bad boy uh, we put in a... Oh, no, what do we want to do? We want to put in some stone and we want to put in that ash. And then when this burns, we need nine pieces of the um, the special stone. Ooh, look how snazzy that is. It actually shows the items inside the glass bell. That is amazing. Okay, cool. So we just need one more piece of ash-infused stone. Come on, we can do it. Da -na 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 -na. And this is where that chalk is going to come in handy for what we made, the stuff that we made earlier. So yes, there we go. Nine infused stone. So I think what we do now is we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, where that wood was. We put one of these in the middle and that's wrong. Hang on. One <laughs> Wait a minute, one sec. I think it's because we haven't actually made this one yet. So this is really simple. This is the book. This is the minium dust that we got from burning the diamond and just a regular book. So hopefully if we do this... What was that weird noise? I have no idea. Um, That should make a... Yes, Tome of Alchemical Knowledge. I keep saying alchemical. Alchemical Knowledge. And if we whap this bad boy down in here, then every time we stick an item in, then it should, in theory... No, 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 hang on, wait, 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 wait. That goes in this side. This is now bound to me. And when we put an item in here, it will now learn um, the information about it. So this we can put loads of stuff in here, pretty much. Like anything with an exchange value. And a lot of stuff does have an exchange value. So now, in theory, if we... How do we get this to go big? 
Ah, there we go. <laughs> so uh, it turns out that the key bind, which was V, wasn't working because um, it was bound to something else. So all you had to do is actually use the button, which is V. And uh, yeah, check that bad boy out. That is so cool. So if we now right click it with an empty hand, we just broken it. Fantastic. So let me try that again so we can adjust the size. Oh God, what have I done? What have I done? James, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? No. Oh, okay. I've worked it out. Yeah, you can like make the circle really big, but if you make it too big, then it stops showing up like that. So yeah, my bad. Anyway, so what we can do now is if we shift right click, Da, look at that. How cool is that? That is amazing. We now have our, uh, um, I'm going to call it a research. No, I'm going to call it like a, 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 I don't even want, I don't even know what it's called. But it's amazing. A transmutation table, I think it's called. Um, but we can now basically fuel this. And you can see that we actually get energy from these diamonds. So you can like put stacks of everything in here. But we've got 49,000. And now if we research items, I think, in our book we can then start to do some serious duplication. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty nifty. I'm just gonna... What should we dupe? Um, hmm. I was thinking this would be awesome for duct tape. Would that be a good idea? Maybe? I don't know. I think we can do pretty much everything, like, with it. So, let's get a load of gear and then see if we can do some learning. So, what's good? Ooh! Surprise gems. That would be cool. So, let's feed it one of those. Hopefully these work. I'm not too sure. How can I get the, um, amounts? That's really annoying me. Ah, okay, I figured it out. So all you do is you hover over it and then you actually uh, hit shift and it shows you the energy of each item and then the amount for the stack you've got. So unfortunately, the surprise gem has no exchange value. So I don't think we'll be able to duplicate that one, which is really annoying. I would have loved to have made some like lucky uh, surprise eggs, but um, ooh, let's try uranium. Uh, does that have stuff? No exchange value. No. What about these? No. <laughs> Unless we can still research them, which may be a possibility, but I kind of doubt it. Um, let's just get loads of random stuff here and let's feed it into the machine. Yeah, so it seems that things without an exchange value we can't actually get knowledge on, which is a little bit of a shame. But one thing that I do think, and this is the reason why I kind of wanted to do this, are the lucky blocks. Because, um, yeah, does it matter what we use inside? No, it genuinely... It, does it matter? Dropper? These are droppers dropper so if we use lucky blocks it'll just be a random one which is probably good right so we need to make a load of um well we actually need to make one and i think that's the beauty of it so let's get some cobblestone and some redstone uh where have we got we've got some redstone okay fantastic where is the cobble please where's the cobblestone are you kidding are you telling me we've got no cobblestone james what have you been doing with this oh <laughs> let me go find some cobble what are you doing in my house, Mr. Creeper? You're not invited to the party. Rip. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. You can keep that stuff. Um, so we've got ourselves some lucky blocks. Now, these do actually have an exchange value, which is amazing. Because it seems like a lot of the modded items don't have exchange values. And that's a shame because it means we can't duplicate them. Especially the uranium and the titanium. We can't duplicate those using this system. And that is really annoying. But never mind. So uh, we, we haven't got any of them in here just yet. I feel like I'm missing a step. Oh, I know how to do it. Hang on. Look, check this out. So let me feed all this stuff in here. Right, so I've done a few things. Now, if we actually... Oh, let me just do the nether wool quickly. We can confirm, so let's do it. Woohoo, cyan wool. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm actually going to take cyan wool because this is really good for a lot of those annoying items that you just have to keep getting time and time again. So things like wool are awesome for building and all that stuff, so it's going to be a good way of doing it, but I feel like this is only the, the small part of this mod. I think there's plenty more that it can offer. Um, so let's just do, uh, what's the button? What's the button, James? James, come on, fingers. Yes, E. Uh, that's not an E, that's a Q. There we go, equivalence, James. So these are the other items that we can get. There's lots of different things here. I don't know what they do just yet, but it's very exciting. But anyway, so if we take this book and we, oh, hang on, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Yes, there we go. We go in here, we stick this bad boy on the top, and then check this. These are all the items that we can dupe. So it's really simple in case you don't know how this particular thing works, but you put in your items in this sort of slot, and this is essentially like the fuel, and when you actually put these items in here, you get 
an energy value. So the more expensive the item is, the better value it has. But you can essentially swap these items using energy, and then in return, you can get these. So if we take one lucky block like so, boop, we have spent a load of diamonds. We have 32,000 left. These cost 16,000 each. And, um, yeah, we can do duct tape. Look at that, 108 for duct tape. Are you kidding? Oh, that's amazing. That is so, so cheap, and it means we can repair all of our gear, like, really, really easily. So, oh god, why, why did I take nuggets? I'm not too sure. I wanted duct tape. There we go. So, yeah, this is really, really cool. Let's repair our gear. It is super broken. But yeah, if we actually find one of the unlucky blocks, then we can duplicate them, I think, if we learn the knowledge for it, and then I think we'll be able to actually do this. So this is really cool. Of course, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time actually trying to feed this book now, because, uh, yeah, there's sort of very little that we actually have learned. But the more stuff, the better, and it should be pretty awesome. So, hmm... I kind of wanted to make an alchemical bag, but you know what? I think we may save that until next episode. i tell you what we'll do today. Let us, um, let's go and open these lucky blocks. Okie dokies, we've come to the testing fields. Yeah, this is where I was testing my witchery potions. Remember these pillars that we made with the potions? Oh, that's what I really want to do. I want to make some more potions. I think maybe we'll do that next episode or something. I really enjoyed that. But yeah, anyway, ooh, this is actually a, um, a proper one, which is spawned. I have no idea what this is, but if we use a silk touch pick, we can break it and, oh, it's just a normal lucky block. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to look for an unlucky lucky block, and then if we silk touch it, maybe we can see if we can dupe it. And then that would be amazing. But okay, anyway, let's do these. We've got five lucky blocks to break. Where's our proper pickaxe? There we go. Fantastic. So are we ready? Three, two, one. Lucky block number one is... Dun, dun, da. <gasps> is this what I think it is? Oh, I thought it was uranium. <laughs> oh, okay, it's amethyst. Damn it. I thought it was... For some reason, I thought it was... Um, not uranium, the titanium, but the titanium is white, like a whiter color, isn't it? Ah, oh, well, you know, I'll take it, some amethyst. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I can put that in my equivalent exchange, I think. Has it got a value? No. Damn it. Okay, so I can't. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, next block is da da da, a pink tourmaline sword. Very snazzy. Okay, I don't have that one, so it's another one from a collection. And the third one is oh, <gasps> ooh, we got some heads. Nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice bit of decoration. Okay, next one is... Dun, dun, dun. What the heck is this? An unlucky potion? Ooh, that could be good for something. Something very sneaky. Okay, good, good, good. And the final lucky block is... Oh, it's a mantis. <laughs> oh, why would you do this to me? Where's my boat? Where's my boat? Where's my boat? Come on, rip. Oh, yes. Ah, rest in pepperonis, buddy. Rest in pepperonis. Why are you still buzzing? Okie dokie, so I think that is going to be about for today's episode, so thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, yeah, today was pretty cool because we have just got the very basic started of Equivalent Exchange, so I'm going to look into it more for next episode, and I'm going to see some more of the advanced things that we can do. I also want to revisit Witchery at some point and uh, continue with that. And just before we go, let's do the final confirm. <sighs> Why? I thought I could make it one whole episode without a fancy lantern. God damn you, fancy lantern. Why do you keep following me around? <laughs> what is it with these fancy lanterns? Oh, God. Oh, you are very fancy. I'll give it. I'll give you that. You're very pink and lovely and golden. Really annoying. Okie dokie. So, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Uh, thank you so much for your support, as always, on the series. If we could please try and achieve 4,000 likes on this video, that would be incredible. We have been hitting that um, on all of the other videos, and it's absolutely amazing. It's very, very feel good. So, thank you so, so much for that. Um, but, yeah, also, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Minecraft on fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Right, see ya.